Question number nine, Tracy Martin. Order, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister for Women, does she support the Prime Minister's statement on election night that I will lead a government that will govern for all New Zealanders? Honourable Louise Upston. Mr. Speaker, yes. Kia ora. Supplementary question, Supplementary. Tracy Martin. In what specific ways will the Minister for Women ensure that women fully benefit from the Prime Minister's aspirational statement? Honourable Louise Upston. Mr Speaker, there are many opportunities for women to contribute um, more in our economic growth. Um, in particular, it's about making sure that women are, are aware of the opportunities in growing industries. Um, construction is a great example. Um, the construction industry is growing, expected to be in double digits by the year 2017. Um, so there's an opportunity for us to work with industries and employers um, and women, of course, to make sure that they're aware of those opportunities. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Tracy Martin. What priority does the Ministry for Women give its work programme for 2014-15 to the issue of sexual violence and abuse against women and girls? Honourable Louise Upston. Mr Speaker, uh, any violence against women is abhorrent. Uh, and I am committed to working with the other ministers in the sector, um, the Minister of Justice, the Minister of Police, the Minister of Social Development, um, to ensure that we have a work programme that is not just about dealing with victims of sexual violence, but actually preventing it in the first place. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Tracy Martin. Um, just, just for some clarification, sir, I, both the questions I have asked, one, in what specific ways, and two, what order, priority... Just make the point of order, please. Um, I'm not confident that the questions have been answered order. by the Minister. Order. What I, priority... I, I, order. I can assist the member. In the first case, there's no doubt in my mind that the question was answered or addressed. Um, in the case of the second one, I think the way forward would be to invite the member to ask the second question again with regards to the priorities of the Ministry for a Woman and allow the Minister to answer it. Supplementary question, Tracy Martin. What priority does the Ministry for Women give in its work programme for 2014-15 to the issue of sexual violence and abuse against women and girls. Honourable Louise Upston. Mr Speaker, there are a group of ministers who will work together in the space of sexual violence. It will build on the work that was done in the previous parliament. As the Minister for Women, I will proudly play an active part and will make that a priority for the year ahead. Supp Entry. Supplementary question, Tracy Martin. What specific steps is the Ministry for Women taking to address the prevalence of sexual violence against women? Specific steps. Mr. Honourable Speaker. Louise Upston. Uh, Mr Speaker, I've been in the role as uh, the Minister of Women for two weeks. Uh, one of the things that I will be focusing on in the weeks and months ahead is focusing the work of the Ministry into the areas that count um, for New Zealanders. Uh, they will be aligned with the government's priorities, um, but I will make this commitment to the member. Uh, it is clear in New Zealand that sexual violence is intolerable. I have also said in my speech in the address and reply debate in this House that I welcome any very practical comments and solutions from any member of this House who has a solution that they believe will reduce and prevent any sexual violence against any woman of our land. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Tracy Martin. In light of that answer, and recognition that as a new minister she will have been briefed on previous work, what steps is the Ministry for Women taking to improve the capacity of government agencies to identify and appropriately deal with violence against women and the sexual abuse of women and girls? Honourable Mr. Louise Speaker. Upston. Uh, Mr Speaker, I want to reiterate the comment that I made in my previous answer. Um, I will proudly work with the other ministers who are involved in this important work and I will be working on the priorities with the ministry according to the work that has already been undertaken uh, and to work with our plan going forward. As I said, as a new minister, um, those decisions have yet to be made, um, but I will take those uh, commitments seriously. Uh, and at a later point, um, I would be more than happy for that member to put a question in writing. As I say, give me, give me more than two weeks and I will happily share that with the member and I would very, very happily share any contribution to solving this issue that you might have. Question number 10, 
Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for